Did they survive? I think they're okay. So how did I manage this? <laughs> it was such a nice week. We managed to get away before restrictions got back down. Where we were staying, there was these big door window things. I'm sure there's a word for them, but I'm just forgetting. Um, and I was sat on the floor for most of the week, a tile floor. Uh, I was sitting on a cushion, don't worry. Getting to catch up on all of this plein air <laughs> painting that I've been wanting to do for so long, except I wasn't outside in the freezing cold of winter. I was inside, but had like the full view of the outside as if I was outside painting. So I had to deal with the changing weather conditions. In that first painting, I did that one on the Monday evening and the literally you know the, the light was vanishing as I was trying to draw it so I made up some of the grass in the foreground which is why that's probably one of the simplest of the canvas paintings but I, I really like how it turned out it's quite serene and in that first one you could see I knew that there was something in the background somewhere very foggy but the next day this painting I'm doing now uh, the painting I did over Tuesday and Wednesday I could really tell that there were mountains further back just because there was less mist and I think it's really interesting to see throughout these paintings because I did the same scene every single day how the weather changed throughout the week and like things look different and I could see more detail. Another cool thing about painting the exact same scene again and again was that I got more uh, comfortable painting the shapes of the cliff and understanding what it looked like. In the first one, the whole cliff area is a bit of a blob, which is partly because it was getting dark when I was painting it and I couldn't really see what was going on. But in this one, it's much more defined. But I think that in this one, I almost, I made it too busy. Uh, the ocean was probably, I could have left it like that. I'm, it's hard to know because I do like that I added more detail to the ocean at the same time, but I needed to find some way to balance that and leave a place for the eye to rest which is like a good good that I know that now and that's something I could work on another thing that I liked about the first one was the grass was a much more yellowy limey limey green it was a more like much more pleasing yellowy green that I prefer over the more bluish green that I used for the grass in this painting it's more of a neutral green I guess Oh yeah, and I also did a little bit of like, uh, there's hinting at a little bit of sunlight in this painting at the very edge there, you saw me working on it. But it's just a very tiny bit. Oh, every time the fence posts really pulls it together, I don't know what it was about. Maybe it's because it kept made a separation between the background and the ocean and the foreground and the grass while at the same time connecting them because of this really dark colour that connected to the cliffs colour. Oh, I, I brought some canvas paper as well with me. And because I only brought four canvases, though mum said that that would probably be way too much, but I did fill them. And so this is my attempt at just a, one of the canvas papers. I don't know why I didn't do this on an actual canvas, but oh well. <laughs> it was one evening, this is, this is painting that I'm doing now, was also on that evening. I think it was Thursday, but I didn't really create anything. I was really, really enjoyed on Thursday because... I really, was really feeling like putting pressure on myself to catch the sunset, the sunset, I need the sunset. <laughs> Instead of just, you know, taking my time and enjoying it because the sunset disappears so fast. And it's, it's easier to just draw a gray day and you know it's gonna be reliably consistently gray. I don't know where the end of that footage went but you'll see it in a second when I paint over it on the final day. Spoiler alert. <laughs> this painting was Friday's painting, I think and there was a bit this was friday morning so the sun was there was a bit of sun rising that morning which is nice as the week went on it got sunnier and sunnier until then the storm came in and <laughs> things were no longer sunny i re i think this is my favorite painting of all of them probably because it balances the detailing with more areas of rest and just the fact that there's sun in it. I love sun and that brightness. It's not totally grey. This is also the thicker of the canvases. This is one I got in Mr. Price a while back. The other two canvases and all the ca other canvases in this video were the ones from TK Maxx. Those ones that I showed in my recent 
art slash haul mini haul thing video. <laughs> I'll link it up above. I really like how the ocean's looking right now. Maybe if I'd have left it like that, that would have been good. Those bigger, wider brush strokes, but I ended up over detailing it a bit. Still, it give, gave some of the roughness because I was always trying to capture the roughness of the sea. And I'd say, what, what day was this? Friday? The sea was getting a bit rougher. I also tried to add in some of the blueness of the sea because, you know, as the environment's changing, you're seeing it change before you. But I tried to capture things I noticed. So, like, at one point, I noticed that the ocean way further back was looking more of an aqua colour. So, I added that in. It was fun putting in that reflection on the top of the hills, mountains, cliffs, off the sky. And then every time putting the sea stack in. I sort of had to ignore the sea stack for part of the process every time until I'd finished with the ocean beneath it. Also in that previous one I took the palette knife to scrape out the blades of grass a bit. It's always so handy with the palette knife to scrape away slightly wet paint to get those kind of details. Oh this one here was the second to last day, Saturday, and I got up to get the sunrise and when it started rising it was mad how purple the sky was. I'd never seen the likes of it because it was quite stormy and the clouds were quite angry but it was, yeah it was so weird because you couldn't see the sun but it was just the whole sky was very purple with like a few breaks in it of pink. The waves were wild that day and I really tried to show that in, in the painting. the paintings that were at duty tower <laughs> so that they would survive the journey. Here they are. Did they survive? I think they're okay. So now that it's all said and done, there was a couple of things I wanted to mention. For, uh, one thing is that this is actually Dingle and when you're going over the Connor Pass and you're on the Dingle side and you're heading down, you can actually see that sea stack. If you live there or have ever been there, you might be able to recognize this. This was so helpful. I brought it in the suitcase. This is what I do, like hold my phone in when I'm doing all my recording. Do you see this chair? I had them attached to the chairs like this and then going over any artwork that I was doing. The angles and stuff in this video aren't exactly top notch, but it did the job and got the filming done. I wouldn't have been able to do the quality, quality, but like I wouldn't have been able to get such a good setup without that thing. Like the differences between them, how the weather changed from day to day. And as you can see, like how simple the ocean is there. And then as the week progressed, we got a bit more sun. And then we descended back into darkness. Another thing I was thinking is that the local theater Dunhamace Art Centre it has got like open submissions where you put in two paintings that represent the year and I was thinking of maybe entering one of these but then I was thinking they don't really because my, my concept was that we've been stuck in one place for so much of the year but there's so much variety in one place and you can there's so much to see and to get out of a single place from just varieties and weather or anything like that. But this is what I was really feeling that at the beginning of lockdown during the first one this summer. I'd never noticed that there was so much beauty in just the hedges in the country lanes around our house. And so this really shows how much you can get out of one single scene. And that's to do with the theme that was chosen. It was like the year of magical thinking or something. The theme, you can look on the Dunamace the Art Centre's website for the details, but I'm trying to figure out what to submit. You can only do two submissions, but does this series really mean anything if they're separated? Can you give your advice or suggestions in the comments in relation to that, or if you know of any of my artworks that you've seen me do that you think I should enter? I've got this painting, which is so huge. I showed it in one of my previous videos, um, but like I can only show you the edges of it because it is so big. You know, it's like so huge. This is already booked, booked up, I guess, for my school because I did it for a competition for my school and I won and I got a voucher. So I don't think that I can enter this because 
the paintings that you enter or put on sale. Another idea I had of something I could enter was this painting that I did I pretty near the start of lockdown. It's of my other uh, coat rack in our hallway, which also applies to the theme, I think, because it's also, again, seeing the beauty in mundane, everyday things, which is really something that the lockdown has been responsible for showing. Just one day, walking past the stairs, like, there's so many things that are, like, the same colors, and it, like, the, the tiles on the floor really tie into the colors. Sat down and blocked the bottom of my staircase for ages to paint this. <laughs> what do you think? Tell me in the comments. And tell me if you want to buy any of these, if you would like me to put any of them on sale, I'll see what I can do. I don't know why I put that one on the top all this time. This is my favorite one. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, because I really enjoyed making these. And bye bye. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> I feel so funny saying that. Anyway, bye.